Yeah, it, it was great to uh, get back out on the grass and uh, be able to, to do a full practice with the guys. You know, now during the summer, you're you're only able to do so much in the weight room and the running, and, and you meet with them, stuff like that. But today's the first day you, we actually got to get out there with the football, with helmets on, and with the blocking gear and all. And it's always great to get back out and to see what, what kind of carryover that you had from, from spring training. And I uh, had real good carryover from our – from our older guys and uh, our young young guys seem to have uh, picked up things well from our summer meetings and uh, had a good base to, to start with. Got a long way to go. You know, day was first day in in helmets and uh, you know that's about like seven on seven football or flag football. Uh, you know, it resembles football, but it's not, it's not the real uh, contact. Uh, full speed, I don't know, uh, contact football. So, uh, you know, real good for the first day. Uh, we'll know a lot more, you know, once we get into full gear and all that. But I love the way that the guys work. I love the attitude. Uh, I like the way we flew around. I thought our conditioning was good. Um, that's, you know, a tribute to how hard the guys worked. And Coach Fodio and his staff, the, the work that they did with the guys over the summer, I think our guys reported back in, in good shape. But, uh, you know, that day one is in the books, and uh, I, I was pleased with, you know, with with the retention. Now we got a long way to go, long way to go, and uh, but we've got a, a starting point now. You know, over the next couple of days, you know, we we started early, and uh, you know, NCAA allowed us to to start a week earlier this year, and some guys took it, and some guys didn't take it. We went ahead and took it because we're we're here anyway with summer school. So I said, well, let's go ahead and start early, and then that way we can give them a few more breaks as you get going. So the way we've got it scheduled, we'll give them a day. We'll practice five days and then give them a day off. Practice five days and then give them a day off where no football. And by starting earlier, uh, you're able to do that. To uh, And what I'm hoping is that uh, the preseason, the, the cramps, the muscle pulls, the, the fatigue-related injuries, maybe we can avoid some of that. Uh, and uh, it, it'll help us. We, you know, we're counting on some young guys to come in and play at a, a couple of key positions. And to me, the the, the sooner we can start and kind of not have to force feed everything, and you know, in a in a short amount of time, uh, we'll we'll be for the better and for the positive. So uh, you know, we'll be come back out tomorrow in uh, helmets only, and then uh, we'll go two days Monday and Tuesday in shells, shoulder pads, and helmet, and then uh, get into full gear on a Wednesday and really get after it. And then a Thursday, completely off. We're still in summer school. Really focus on the academics and the uh, uh, finishing the, the summer semester strong. And then uh, have a good Friday in shells, then scrimmage Saturday, and then uh, you know carry us on to uh, into week two. One time, family, one time. One time, family.